we've never seen anything quite like this. And the word is that there is concern that China's going to send one for the first time ever missiles over the island of Taiwan. They're within 12 miles. They've surrounded the island. What do you think we, what is your takeaway from this? Well, see, th this is where the administration has played wrong again, just as he did in Afghanistan, just as he did, did in Ukraine. He sent the wrong message like he did to Putin. Well, if you invade a little portion of it, we should be very upfront at the very beginning. Do not send a missile across. We should set a fine line of what is right and what is wrong. If the administration was strong in their messaging, China would not push this. This is benefiting President Xi. Remember, he's changing the Constitution. He's going for a third term. He thinks he's Mao. He put himself in the Constitution. He has economic problems. So what he's doing is rallying his country around an, a common enemy. He's making us it. He's elevating it. But it didn't have to be this way. At the same time, we're trying to keep China away from giving weapons to Russia to, to fortify their fight in Ukraine. It's all wrong handled. It's just what Gates had said about Biden for 40 years. Every foreign policy decision he's made has been wrong. He handled it wrong. They're within the same party. They're not communicating. She's second in line to the presidency and she's not communicating with the president about whether she's going and what the message ahead of time. The Democrats don't have a plan for foreign policy, but they don't have a plan to solve the inflation that they created or the border that's a national security or the crime they're having throughout the streets. This is why in 96 days we should change the course of America and put us back on the right track.